Hello everybody, Naughty Nana Does. How y'all doing on this Saturday? Everybody doing good? I hope so. It's a little gloomy here. We're about to get a big thunderstorm, I think. That's why old Miss V down there. She's going to get her thunder shirt on soon. She's a little panicky right now. She don't like the thunder. I get her some puppy gummies too. So anyway, before we go, I want to tell you something. There's a thing called Article 5, and I don't think many of you are aware of it. Article 5 is pretty scary. Remember when Trump was talking about uh, ending the Constitution? This is part of it. He's already said that he doesn't know anything about Project 2025, doesn't know anything about those people, but he knows Kevin Roberts pretty good, and he's the president of the Heritage Foundation, and the leader of Project 2025. One of the head friggin' editors, writers, uh, writers, 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 stuff like that. So before we go any further, if you're new, give us a like. Cost nothing to push that button. Nothing at all. And please subscribe to the channel. Do a lot of good stuff around here. At least I think so too. And so do my 17,000 fabulous subscribers. Just saying. But anyway, okay. Let's get in. Skitters are getting bad too because the rain's coming. But anyway. Um, Article 5 Convention. Uh, what is Article 5? It's a secret group that is pushing uh, this agenda under Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution. And it's needed. Uh, what's needed is to hold a consti uh, constitutional convention if two-thirds of the legislation, which is currently 34 states, calls for one. That's it. Now, the surprise here is there's no rules. Um, outline in the Constitution for Article 5, for or against, and the worst part is, if two-thirds of the majority agrees to an Article 5, the people that gather to rewrite the Constitution don't even have to be elected, and they're not accountable for anything. Um, there's no limits on how many amendments can be made. Uh, they can amend a single issue or as many as they like. So delegates could write as many amendments as they see fit that will take away your rights. Hello, fascism. Your right to peaceful protest, religious uh, freedom of religion, and your right to privacy. They're already doing that. They're tracking women's periods. They're banning people from leaving the state to get um, health care. They just need it in writing. And that's what Article 5 will do for them. And there's no uh, rules saying uh, guys like in the deep state, the real deep state, like Harlan Crow, those guys, those actors, the DeVos family, the Mellon family, uh, Mark Singer, or Kevin Roberts, the president of the Heritage Foundation. Don't forget about him. He was the guy that said, we are in the process of our second revolution and it will remain blood, uh, bloodless um, if the uh, left allows it. Yeah, let that sink in, right? Um, but yeah, it's uh, there's no rules on how much these big money families and corporations can pump in to getting this Article 5 through. Um, so this is how far, um, this is how the far right extremist agenda is willing to go to rewrite the U.S. Constitution and why they are on tour right now going to all the different state legislatures and all the guys that are on Capitol Hill right now to back this Article 5 convention and make it a reality and make no bones about it. They want to keep this out of the public eye. It's a big secret hush-hush thing. That's all Republicans. And they are trying their damnedest. Right down to city uh, city councils and stuff like that. Right? So this is from... Um, I got all this stuff from the organization that is tracking all this stuff. And it's called Common Cause. And they're working with legislations too to stop and rescind any calls for a convention. States like Montana, New Jersey, Illinois, Colorado, uh, New Mexico, Nevada, Wyoming, Maine, Idaho have all stopped. 
any legislation that can go forward for Article 5. They've stopped it. Lots of work left to do. As you remember, 37 states is two-thirds. Um, they squashed Article 5 on their legislative floors. So now, just think about it. There's only 27 amendments ever been made to the Constitution of the United States. 27. The first 10 amendments are formally called the Bill of Rights. Your rights. And they want to screw with them. Um, and the other 17 uh, amendments deal with everything from who can vote to whether senators can get a raise. Now, I'm going to read you the first 10 uh, amendments. The first one is the freedom of religion, speech, press, protest, and petition. That's the, You have the freedom to all of those things. Uh, amendment 2. Are, uh, to grant the rights to bear arms for a regulated mil uh, militia being necessary to secure a free state. Not willy-nilly going to friggin' Walmart and buying as many AKs as you can, you can pack in your trunk. Um, Amendment 3, prevent soldiers from squatting in your home without consent. You know, like uh, in Texas, Abbott had all those National Guardsmen there squatting down and wouldn't even let the government officials See what was going on? Yeah, that's part of this Article 5 in my heart of hearts. Um, Amendment 4 prevents citizens from unreasonable search and seizure. Article 5 protects citizens from double jeopardy, testifying against yourself, and the right to due process. Uh, Amendment 6 is the right to a speedy and public trial. Public, which in this day and age should mean cameras in every, every courtroom. Um, a jury of impartial peers, um, a right to counsel, and to be informed of the crimes of which you are being accused of. Amendment 7 is the right to a jury trial for civil matters. You know the one that they're complaining about he couldn't get a jury trial for the civil matter in New York, but that was because his stupid lawyer, Alina Haba, didn't check the box and didn't think they needed a jury trial? Blame her. Uh, Amendment 8 protects citizens from excess bail, fines, and cruel and unusual punishment. Because you know, black and brown people get uh, harsher bail, sent, uh, bail um, allotments and higher fines and the longest terms in jail compared to their white counterparts. Um, article, uh, Amendment 9 clarifies that the enumeration of rights in the Constitution does not deny the rights retained by the people. And Amendment 10 establishes the rights not delegated to the free, uh, federal government by the Constitution are reserved by the states or by the people. So when the Mangle Moose Knuckle says that he will rewrite parts of the Constitution, he means any parts that he wants because he's going to be the commander in chief of the country, not just the military. Of the country. Um, he means all the MAGA crazies are hunkered down right now to get Article 5 passed and the backers have more money than Republican Jesus. So go to this website. I get these emails from these guys all the time and it's called defendourconstitution.com and they are fighting courts all around the country to get Article 5 in a ditch somewhere and bury it. But that's what they're talking about. When they want to rewrite Constitution and amendments and stuff, this is what they're talking about, Article 5. And they are purposely keeping it secret and away from the citizens. Only citizens that know about it are, them, are the MAGAs and the Republicans like um, in Louisiana, Alabama, Florida, all those places that are taking rights away already, gerrymandering um, black voting districts and things like that. Um, even the crooked friggin' SCOTUS. Those guys like the um, Heritage Foundation, the Federalist Society, all those people, who do you think paid them to change the laws for Roe v. Wade and the, um, the last, was it Exxon? I forget. Anyway, I got too much going through my head right now. But the, the last big deal, they can do whatever they want, pump in as much money as they want. I think when Joe Biden gets in, he needs to, everything needs to be transparent. Every donor needs to be listed. Uh, there has to be a cap, say, $5,000 per candidate, per
per month. That's it. That's all they're allowed to donate for uh, um, campaigns. And nothing should be over a year. Campaigns should not go over a year. They shouldn't. It just costs everybody way too much money. And it pisses people off when you're getting 40, 50 emails a day saying, do you love me? What are you wearing? Yeah. Who wants to see that shit all the time? But anyway, you got to vote blue, people, all the way through. Vote blue. Joe Biden's doing really well. He's uh, starting to raise a shit ton of money. If you can help, help. And if you, can, if you can't afford to donate money, donate a little bit of your time. A couple hours a week, maybe. It's good to get out of the house and meet new people. But after all, they say strangers are just friends you haven't met yet, right? Anyway, 99 loves you. Be good, be safe. Please take care of you first. I love you so much. And don't forget to subscribe. Did that at the beginning this time. Anyway, 99 loves you so much. Take care of you. And stay woke. I love you all. Have a great rest of your weekend. Be safe.